Just like mom, when she knows her boys has a big battle, she comes bearing gifts. Come on in here, mom. Come on in here, mom. Mom Donna is joining us. Is she? Mom, mom, you're bringing in these cookies. You've probably been cooking these cookies forever for these guys. That's what got them big and ready for the, for the NFL. <laughs> oh, you love to see it, don't you, Francesca? I'm just smiling from ear to ear. That was Donna Kelsey surprising her sons, Jason and Travis, during the media week for the Super Bowl. And of course, the Eagles are playing the Chiefs in the big game. And Jason plays for the Eagles while Travis plays for the Chiefs. So, how does Donna, you know, mama, their mother, Mama Donna, the side Mama Donna. you root for, Mama Donna. Let's hear it from her. Take a listen and a look. How on earth do you decide who to root for? Oh, it's going to be easy. You know, I have to stand and scream the entire game. <laughs> uh, they're both on offense, so every time somebody has a ball, I'll be clapping, and every time somebody gets a touchdown, I'll be thrilled. There it is. Because she wins or she wins. Either way, exactly. Mama Donna can't lose in this situation. And there's a special place in my heart for these two brothers, obviously, because they represent Greater Cleveland, baby. Raised in Cleveland Heights, Ohio, these brothers were college teammates at Cincinnati from 2008 to 2009. And during his senior year, Travis caught 45 passes for 722 yards and eight touchdowns earning first team all conference honors and Jason earned second team all conference honors and started all 13 games in his senior year. That reporting is coming from the New York Times. I got to tell you something. Greater Cleveland is on fire, baby. Probably all of Ohio's on fire. Everybody gonna try to claim them, but you see that says Cleveland Heights, a suburb of the great city of Cleveland and considered to be two of the best to play their respective positions and each already having won a Super Bowl already. Mama Donna will also most likely be seeing her sons enshrined in the Pro Football Hall of Fame once their careers are over. Oh my God, Francesca, you know, Mama Donna is in a great is in a great position on this Sunday. Yeah, absolutely. She wins or she wins, like you said, and it's it's adorable. I like to see um big, hard, strong men with like really sweet moms with who are baking them cookies and them remembering where they came from. Um, must not have been easy to uh, carry those two for nine months apiece and raise them. I mean, right? And and breastfeed them if she did or whatnot. Like they probably ate her out of house and home as well. Um, so so yeah, I like to see those heartwarming stories, especially when it comes to what I believe is a sport that is incredibly rough and violent. Yeah. I am not a personal fan of football for many, many, many reasons. Yes. Uh, my latest thing is I want it to be democratically owned, kick Goodell out and all the shareholders and it should be owned by the players. That's my thing um, uh, because I think that if the sport continues, uh, it should it should drastically change. But it is nice to see that and it also just makes you be like, man, we should all think of these players who put their bodies on the line in the ways that their parents think of them, in the ways that their moms think of them and keep them safe. Um, make sure that we reduce the amount of concussions, make sure we reduce the amount of violence surrounding it. A lot of thoughts, Nina, a lot of thoughts. No, I got it. And we covered that a lot on this show. We talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly, and the concussions and how players are being treated. I mean, there's a lawsuit pending against the NFL right now for that kind of treatment in terms of how they deal with concussions and people with disabilities. And many of the former players feeling as though they're throwaway because they can't earn them any money anymore. Right. We know that the majority of the league in terms of the players are black, over 70% are black, while the majority of the owners, over 90%. Almost 100% of those owners are white. So we do have a problem in the NFL. And I don't think your idea is too bad, Francesca. But what I said to, for the supporters of football is that because the football players themselves have complained about the way that they are treated, especially if they get injured, the fans have a responsibility to those players to force 
the NFL to do right by them or boycott them until they do right by the players, as you said, who put their bodies on the line. So yes, sure. but we are rooting and we are because it's not a but all of these things can be true at the same time. We will root for uh, the brothers and Mama Donna.